Hey everybody, my name is Jay Martin. Thanks for watching. And this is a response to a user, uh, viewer request. Somebody had posted a comment for me saying, hey, can you put a video up about how to beat a camper? And I said, well, I, I've got an old video up about that, but that's a couple months old and I've, I've learned a lot and I've got a lot better at the game since I posted that. Um, so I said, well, I'll be on the lookout to try to get a new video. And I got so lucky because tonight... I got to play against a camper, and this guy actually does a pretty legit camp. I mean, if you, if you ask me, I'm not the expert on camping, but uh, I thought his camp was uh, pretty strong, or kind of what you'd expect from uh, a camper. Um, the build I have is not really relevant to kind of the meat of this video about, about tactics, but in this uh, game, I have, I'm Sweden, and I only have uh, nine line of three, two militia in front, and then eight of the shooter cav. And here goes my opponent. He spawns. Uh, I think his name was Annapolis, and this is his army. There's a random Lancer with a fuck out there. I think that's to, like, distract me or something, so I just moved some of my cav over there. Okay, first rule about playing against camper. First rule, most important rule, be patient. Okay, the camper is not going to move. By definition, they're just going to fucking sit there. So you have all the time in the world to get into the position that you want. Okay? Be patient. Rule number one. Take your time. Okay? Second rule is use that time to actually get into position. What the camper wants, what this guy wants, is for me to attack him head on. Okay? So don't do that. So rule number two is envelop. If he's going to be stationary and sit there, then you can see me. I'm trying to wrap my army around him, okay? So rule number two is envelop. Now, by definition, you have to think that the camper is a bad player, right? If they were a good player, then they'd be moving around and maneuvering and everything. So their micro or whatever is going to be pretty bad, okay? And they're probably also going to have some really poor tactics. Like, if I got in range, that unit is going to be shooting that unit in the back, okay? You see some pretty poor play for campers, okay? So the, you know, kind of second thing, the second rule, just take your time, envelop them, and you're going to give them opportunities to make mistakes as long as you don't make mistakes yourself. The mistake that you can, the only mistake that you can make make is to like frontally charge them or do exactly what they want or whatever now kind of in this guy's defense i want to say that i don't think this is necessarily like a big planned camp i think this guy is just kind of bad at the game like a really good a good camper would maybe spread his units out more or whatever so this might not be the best example of a quote good camper but i'm not really sure there is such a thing as a good camper because a good camper would probably be a good player who would actually probably just play instead of camp right okay so let me fast forward and what you watch me doing is i have this fantastic shooter cab of sweden and I'm moving them around the flanks. Now, one thing I had to be careful of in this game is this dude drops stakes. See those stakes right there? He drops them like... It's actually not a bad stake strategy, but instead of making like one big stake line in the front, he kind of drops a few stakes everywhere, which makes me re really careful. That, that was a good idea, dude. Now, maybe if I, I made a little psychological mistake, if I'd have kept my cav on this area of the map, he would have dropped all the stakes in the front. Like if I would have, you know convinced him I was just going to frontally charge him, but I didn't do that. My bad. And then, you know, the other thing is take advantage of little opportunities. Like, he's not doing anything over here, so I have an opportunity to move my shooter cav, and I get some shots off his volts, which do, like, one fucking casualty. I do do decent casualties, I guess, to that cav unit right there. And But then he's pulling an infantry unit over, so I jet my cav out. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm being really patient, and I'm getting my build up. And I, I actually get a little antsy, and you can see I'm running that unit. They get down to winded. Not a good idea. I don't know if I've mentioned this in the video, but when your troops get tired, they don't fight as well. So you want to keep your troops as rested as possible. Um, and then what I do is I come around the back. So what I've got positioned, the reason I had to move my cab is there's a stake line down there. I, I can't I hate stakes. You can't fucking see him. Um, but anyway, there is an avenue right here that I plan on running the last cab through because he can't stake right there. Okay? So, okay, pause. Sorry, time out. Because I'm about to start my assault. So the the next thing that you want to do when you attack a camper, or rule number three, is you want to attack them in a lot of places at once. Because you just want to overload their micro and not give them a good opportunity to react, okay? 
and you're going to overload their micro and they're going to make mistakes like you're going to find flaws for instance the flaw in this guy's deployment is this side right here he actually doesn't have anybody right here and I'm going to be able to walk my units right into his rear okay so you're going to find if you a camper is going to make mistakes when you try to do this box formation you're going to have little problems like this little hinge right here is a problem I could position a unit right here that would get you know free shots and they wouldn't be shot back at so take your time but then get set up and then when you find the weaknesses attack everywhere at once and you notice this is i think the big weakness in in my guys uh my opponent's uh deal so what i'm doing is i'm starting my assault and i'm moving units up this direction and I'm also moving units up this direction. So what I'm going to do is hit this side of his line really hard. You notice I'm also moving units up here. And I think in a minute, let me give you the zoom to show you where I'm going. So units move in. That was a meat shield that is no longer needed to be a meat shield. And we're starting to get our first shots in. Now this guy has stakes, and a good tactic to defeat stakes is to... Um, uh, get in real close. Now I charge Cavan. I don't really have a good target because I have to keep in a narrow lane because of his stakes that he has. So I wind up charging all my Cav at just a handful of units. And there they go. And notice again, I've got a huge advantage. Like, let's pause again. If you just look at this, draw a little imaginary line here, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got about seven units shooting at five, and his guys aren't even in firing position right now. So what I did is I took advantage of, you know, poor positioning, which Camper is going to give you, and I got in there to do it like that. Now he reacts by, like, random melee charging. Um, it, it doesn't work out for him, but that isn't really important. Notice my Cav charge on the right side starts. He just had a couple volts out on their own. And so on this side, I'm able to charge Cav into those volts, and then I'm going to continue those charges into the meat of his army. And I think here in a minute, I, what I don't want to do is you notice I'm still not advancing on this front here because that's where all this firepower is. So I'm really content to start the battle where I'm strong. And eventually I decide to start the general engagement on the front. And I move in. And I think um, what I actually do... Yeah, no, I just get in there for a full engagement. And you notice I've routed a, a bunch of the units here. And that's going to let me turn on his right. And that's kind of what I do. So the if you want to engage the camper, you know, th three things. First of all, just be patient. You have all the time in the world because they're not going to move. Okay. Second rule, envelop them. And then the third rule, um, isolate some weak points where you can charge them successfully or, or get in there successfully. They, those are going to exist. And then... The fourth thing is when you do attack, you want to engage them in a lot of areas at the same time because they're just not going to be able to react to that. Like I took advantage right here in the center um, where he didn't have stakes and I charged Cavan to finish off these couple infantry units. So this wound up being a pretty easy game for me. I do let this Cav unit get away with way too much damage than it should have, but this wound up being a pretty easy game because I followed, you know, that kind of simple formula. I was really patient. I moved everybody into position. Then I enveloped him, isolated some weaknesses, attacked where he was strong, and he didn't know what to react. And the last thing to keep in mind is that you're a better player than the camper, okay? The only way that you can lose this game is if you are not patient, okay? If you are patient, then you will definitely win this game, all right? So just... Just be careful. And if you're playing against somebody who has artillery, first of all, I recommend, uh, you know, I hate artillery. I think it's dumb and too, way too random, so I don't like using it, so I don't play games with it a lot. But if you're playing with somebody who does have artillery, just be patient. Um, you'd be amazed at how few casualties artillery actually do. And if you're worried about canister and it's a camper, then you can probably be careful and wrap around them, okay? So, you know, first of all, play r games with rule sets that w maybe would minimize artillery camping as an ability. Um, but even if they do have artillery, the same thing applies. Just be patient, wrap around them. If you do see opportunities, seize them quickly, okay? So, and that's kind of my tips on... Uh, on how to fight the camper. Let me see what the... Uh, I'm, I'm a little curious. Okay, uh, just a regular line unit got my most kills. They just must have been that line unit here on the right that had the great firing lane. But uh, anyway, uh, this is a response to uh, viewer suggestions, so uh, I was happy to put that together. And if you have any other ideas or, or videos um, to work on, let me know. I, it's, it's fun. It gives me some direction and some purpose. So thanks for watching, and more information at twreplays.com.